Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome to my channel. We're going to jump right into this makeup look today. And the um, palettes that I'll be using today is the Beautiful Queen Collection palette. Um, this one, first one is the Strawberry Kisses palette. And I'm using the shade Yellow and a Ruby Kisses brush. Now, I'm blending this color out front to back so that this can paint me a bigger canvas. Like, it's opening up my eye because I have hooded lids. So, I want this eye to be big, popping, and earth thing so this is the same color that i'll be continuing to use for a little second right here until i get that perfect blend that i want and then we're going to move on to another palette within the beautiful queen collection organization boom so this is the tom girls palette which is my palette now. and we're going to go in with this lime green and basically this lime green is going to make this yellow pop so it's just a little bit of green just to make it pop nothing major we're not building no color here we're just really bringing out that yellow even more with the lime green. So back to the Strawberry Kisses palette, we're gonna come in and we're gonna add another color within this palette. So basically the color that I'll be using is the pink, and then we're gonna go in with some purple, just to um, make these colors pop. Same brush, people. I cleaned it off a little bit just to make sure that excess is off. And then this pink is gonna go right directly in my crease. Original crease at that. So basically, I'm placing this purple and this pink blended together into this crease just to give me like that. I don't know what to call it. So we just call it purple and pink. Just to give it that little effect. And I'm going to take this and we're going to blend it right up into that yellow and that lime green that we placed down there before. So moving a little quickly, as you can tell, I've blown it out a little bit just to blend it up just so you can see that purple. When my eyes are open, when my eyes are closed, because I am hooded. So that same brush and I'm just buffering out those harsh lines so that you can't see any demarcations and everything blends perfectly. The key to perfect makeup is blending girls. Blend your damn life away, period. Still using this and we're just gonna, we're basically just building the color so it can be more vibrant. Um, I really love this palette because it comes with a little mirror so I don't have to have like 500 mirrors to look in 500 different palettes. But moving right along, we're going to use our Pro Girl Conceal to cut our crease. Um, I did do like a half a cut crease, I want to say. Um, that's what they call it these days. And this concealer right here is already matte, so it works perfect for my lid. So basically, I'm overdrawing so that I can have the um, impression that I have a bigger eye. So as you can tell, I'm starting in the front and I'm making my guideline. That guideline is everything, so make sure you take your time. Don't rush. Oh, look at the Tom Girl palette showing its debut. But once again, um, shout out to my girl Tamika for Miracle Stone Hair. That's what I'm rocking today. I colored it myself. It's a full wig. And um, I will leave the link below in the description bar. But like I said, please be careful when you're cutting your crease. It's very important. If you have hooded lids, if you have wrinkle lids, all that plays a major part in cutting your crease because you don't want none of that to set. You don't want none of that to fold and get all extra oily and stuff. So if you're extra oily, you can prime your lids in the beginning. That will help you. But right now, we're just using the Pro Girl Conceal just to get that crease. And I don't remember what color that was, girls, either. So I can't tell you, but more than likely, it's fine. All right, y'all, so basically what I'm doing right now, I'm just taking my um, concealer brush and I'm just patting in the concealer and then I'll be going into the Beautiful Queen Collection palette, Strawberry Kisses, and we'll be going for a pink shade. Now, I am speaking a little faster than the videos just so you can go ahead and know what I'm coming into. So, boom, there goes the pink shade and we're going to press that in. We're going to pack it in just to make sure it's knit very nice and pigmented and you know, dominant looking, this is your lid. This is what you want to pop. Like I said before, I have a hooded lid, so I want my lid to pop as if my eyes was automatically like this. If it, if it was real and, you know, just a sickening normal lid. But unfortunately, I do have a hooded lid. So if you have a hooded lid, this is the way that you want to go about doing this. 
And right after this, um, I'm blending this the ends into the purple that I already have there. And then right now, I'm going to go into more of the pink so it can be very, very popping. And we won't have like no blah shadow. As you can tell, I kind of do put the little um thing right in front of there, but forgive me. We're going to go in with this little shimmer shade. It's kind of like a white color, really cute, really shimmerish, and we're going to drop that right in the front. Now, moving right along, I'm going to go ahead and blend some purple back into the end of this eye so it can be more popping, more radiant, and still blending. Like, you want your eyeshadow to blend from the rooty to the tooty. So we're going to blend it in with the same fluffy brush that we did in the beginning. And then that's going to add more purple. It's going to make it more darker, more vibrant, or what have you. Now, this next step is my foundation. And I am using Kat Von D. And if you use Kat Von D before, Kat Von D dries like thought. So you have to move a little faster. So basically, in this video, I did cut this part off because that foundation was like drying so fast. But right now, I'm already highlighted with my favorite girl in the world, Pro Girl Conceal in the shade Fun. I also added a little neutral. And right now, I'm baking with Air Spun. But sorry it was so quick, but I thank y'all for watching. And y'all enjoy my girl Ariana Grande as we get into this look. So this is a Tom Girls look from me, Beat by Wendy. And I hope that you liked it. I hope you like, subscribe, and watch more of my videos as I do upload them. But to all my girls out there who are some girls, stand up, baby, because we are it. Have a good one. And yes, I would like to give a shout out to my fabulous hairstylist, Robin Sohantis Gardner. Make sure you go follow her.